Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And we're coming to you from Bordeaux, France, where we're going to give you our review of our lifestyle trip. So stay tuned, we're the Traveling Swingers. So we're at a castle. We're at a castle. Yeah, and you've got your little... My jewels. Yeah, your little princess outfit yes. on. You look very, <laughs> very... Royal. R royal, <laughs> yes. Sexy princess, I like that. <laughs> yeah, so, so as you can see, there's a castle behind us. Mm -hmm. We are at Chateau Le Gorge, which is in Bordeaux, France. Yes. And we... this is the most amazing property we've ever been to ever in our entire lives. It's right? incredible. Yes. It's incredible. I think like 100 acres of, of uh, private property, a uh, castle, which is tens of thousands of square feet. This place was actually built in the uh, 1400s, so it's actually older than our country, mm -hmm. before our country was even found. So uh, <laughs> that's I, it's hard for Americans to even grasp that, right, right. Uh, but uh, it's, it's phenomenal. And so this is uh, part two of our series mm -hmm. about part our... Deux. Part two, thank you. <laughs> uh, about our trip to France uh, that is part of a whole lifestyle trip two-week trip uh, uh part one was at uh, cap de agda which is the uh the swinger mecca of the world where right. it's uh, lifestyle and nudist just everywhere in this entire village and part two here part two sorry yeah. part two uh is uh is here at at, uh, at the chateau uh where our group which is uh, approximately 10 couples or so uh took over this entire uh castle, castle. Mm. and we have parties and we have wine wine and there's lots of <laughs> pastry and frolicking and yes. lifestyle stuff that uh has been has been pretty pretty fantastic pretty amazing yeah so. so during the day you can go into town and sightsee or there have been a few tours that you could sign up for uh, we did a full day wine tasting and which was incredible so much information and just beautiful scenery uh just incredible um or you can stay here at the at the castle and just lounge and probably find someone to feed you grapes or something exactly so <laughs> let's just kind of start out with the, what we've done sure, what we've done sure. okay so uh we took the train from cap de agda which mm -hmm. was uh approximately two and a half hours or so yeah. uh uh which being again being americans we don't really have the train functions uh, along the northeast uh, uh, part of the of our country you can you can take some trains a bit but since we're on the west coast we can't do any of that type right. of stuff uh and so that was nice in itself that you can inexpensively take a train i think it was something like 28 dollars uh to go to the other side of the country uh which is which is fantastic and so we did that it was our group we got to spend some time in the city of bezier and that was a nice beautiful town oh, took a lot of pictures so got many to, pictures got to got to see some history of france i got a baguette she got her first baguette <laughs> an actual baguette where she could go into t go into a town go into a small little little store it was a meat store butcher shop mm -hmm. yeah. and and say uh un baguette, uh, baguette s'il vous plaît s'il vous plaît <laughs> and uh and it was something along the lines of 80 uh, Euro. no not 80 oh, euros no, no. a 0.80 euros <laughs> yes. so uh, about a dollar mm -hmm. uh and it was fresh it was fantastic mm, so good yeah so <laughs> i carried that baguette all day <laughs> till it got i didn't eat it all though no <laughs> it was no such a waste. <laughs> so, so then we took the train from bezier to uh bordeaux bordeaux thank you uh, all these french words are, are it's I'm, I'm getting them and i'm actually learning <laughs> the language a little bit too you okay. that immersion that's happening is mm -hmm. is actually pretty good so you don't actually really need to learn the language as much as you can learn beforehand, of course, is going to be a positive thing, but it isn't necessary. A lot of people are very afraid to come to France because they're concerned about uh, if that's going to be that necessary. But like most of Europe, English is kind of a, a universal language where they're taught those in schools, and uh, uh, and it hasn't really been a problem at all. Right. More than a couple of stores here and there where there was a little bit of a barrier specifically about how much something is, mm -hmm. uh, but even that has been yeah, has, yeah has not been particularly been difficult. So. Uh, that has been an issue. So we took the train there. It was a very nice train ride, very, very relaxing. And uh, then, then got a, got on a, 
uh, a bus uh, specifically rented for our group and, and got here to the castle. And then the first night, we got to relax, we got to change. Everybody's wandering around the castle taking pictures of everything because mm -hmm. there's there's a lot of rooms here. Uh, the, from the, the, the honeymoon suite, which is up kind of in a tower with the double, not the double beds, with the poster, bed. poster beds. Mm -hmm. and the hot tub. The hot tub. The spiral staircase down to a... Um, steam shower mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. and a lot of really spooky kind of rooms <laughs> that have been you know kind of off the beaten path where a door would open and you just kind of peek in there and see what it is and it's just another hallway or another you know fancy looking room that isn't really used for anything and probably hasn't been for a long time so this is it just it's amazing and harder to describe i'm glad we actually got some pictures of it that we're showing you so that you can kind of see around a little bit yeah. and, 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 and what we're doing here so then uh so we did that the first night and uh, a couple of uh, brave um, four people went out and skinny dipped in the pool. Skinny too. dipped in the pool. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. that was pretty brave of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little cold, a little, a little cold, cold, but not not but too bad. Yeah. And uh, we, uh, yeah, we just ended up uh, having sex with each other that night. Right. Yeah, that yeah. was it. We were a little tired from the from the train ride, so we figured, you know, her, her first time in a castle. Well, my first time in a castle too. Yeah. Uh, so you have to have sex like a princess. Uh, Absolutely. And so you got Maybe. to. Tell me what to do and <laughs> and uh, do some Game of Thrones role play or something. <laughs> and, and that was very nice. Uh, so the next day we got to go into the town of Bordeaux or the city of Bordeaux, right. which is absolutely phenomenal. There is so much to see and do. So much to see, so much history and just beautiful architecture. Yeah, and again, buildings that have been here for centuries, which we just don't have that in, no. in the United States. Uh, where you can walk by, you know, there's a store and it says on it that it's, you know, 500 years old or 800 years old. And it's just, you know, yeah. <laughs> just absolutely amazing and so beautiful. Uh, and we chose to walk around just by ourselves, just kind of sightsee ourselves with another couple. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the group went on a walking tour that was um, put together mm -hmm. by the um, by SOP. Um, and uh, that yeah. was really nice. They learned a lot of history. They went to a cheese shop and a chocolate shop mm -hmm. and learned a lot that they'd shared with us. Right, and then they got to go on a wine tour that yeah. afternoon as well. So they had to, you know, a couple After different lunch. things and there, there's been a lot of wine. As you would guess mm -hmm. in France, there's a lot of wine and you've been very, very happy about that. I have, very yeah. happy. Mm -hmm. You've actually drank some, some wine. You've yeah, found some that you've liked. I'm not a wine fan, but some of the wine here is so good that I've actually enjoyed it quite thoroughly. Yeah. And I really didn't, I, I didn't, didn't think, think I would, honestly. Mm -hmm. Especially the reds, I'm more of a white, uh, white yeah. wine drinker uh, when I do drink wine, which is rare in itself, but it's mostly reds here and yeah. they have been absolutely fantastic uh, and so we came back and to the in the evening and there were a lot of things going on with a lot of different couples and it's just a lot of fun that we'll just kind of leave out and leave to your imagination because uh, that tends to be what happens when a lot of swingers get together uh, <laughs> and uh, and then uh, let's see and then yesterday yesterday we went to some uh, Saint Emilion Emilion yes um, gorgeous gorgeous town uh, we took a full day wine tour there, mm -hmm. got to see the caves where they store the wine and this amazing um, uh, church that they would built like underground mm -hmm. out of limestone It just like they carved into the limestone and just the, the guy that we had just so knew so much about the area. I mean, he grew up in the town and uh so he took us there and then we did some wine tasting and we did oh this amazing picnic just like french picnic yeah actually um, which was inside the the remnants uh, of a garden from a 12th century convent which was phenomenal beautiful. and absolutely beautiful but it was it was it was the things that you see in movies as far as the picnic was concerned it was. they they the way they eat here uh is 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 a is a family style yeah so they when they bring their food it's not necessarily a one person food bringing your meal it's they bring out a lot of things and put them in the center and you bring them to your to your pr your plate and so there was just kind of you know yeah, the tomatoes, the meats that we had to meats, chop up ourselves up our and the cheese that we had to cut up ourselves and um we had dev several different kinds of cheeses uh pates uh different spreads artichoke tapenade just 
so much. Uh, we had macaroon mm -hmm. and other cookies and just gorgeous. And of course, sparkling wine. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so just a gorgeous spread for lunch, mm -hmm. really. And then after that, we had time to wander around on our own. Uh, and do a little shopping, do some more wine tasting, whatever you wanted before we went on to our next and last winery for the day. Exactly. And then we had more shenanigans around the castle last night. Of course. Of course. And then uh, today we, we went back to Bordeaux with the. Today was with, like a free day. You could kind of choose to do what you wanted. Yeah. So with a couple other couples, we uh, we decided to wander around Bordeaux again and mm -hmm. do a, quite a bit of shopping, as, as of course, in France, there's, May we? there's a, a lot of that. <laughs> and uh, that was always, that, that was very nice. Mm -hmm. a, a very beautiful town. So we're, we were happy about that. And then tonight we're getting ready for our big gala. Our gala as, dinner. As it's our last night in this amazing castle yeah. that we're making a big deal out of it we're gonna just do dress a big up. spread dress up you got nice your catered you dinner. got your princess outfit you're ready you're ready <laughs> <laughs> so so it's so funny that you actually brought that with you they, why is that funny of course i did where else are you gonna wear it? i mean i wear it everywhere but <laughs> sure but here you have an excuse to and right? you look totally normal as the princess of the castle of course wandering around someone's gotta be <laughs> why not me mm -hmm. and then and tomorrow, mm. uh, we head out on the train, and we'll be actually heading into Perry. Perry, Perry yeah. Oh. So, so that that's uh, about a two and a half, three hour uh, train ride. Yeah. So that'll that'll be nice, a little long Very train ride. Excited but excited about that. Mm -hmm. oh, the shopping and everything. I'm just so excited. I can't wait. Yes. So definitely, <laughs> this has been the trip of a lifetime. I mean, just you know, one of the first things I said when we got to this castle specifically is. I told Matt, I wish you were all here with us. This is just incredible. It is gorgeous. And we're just, we're traveling with the coolest people. You know, all the people that we're here with, you know, everybody is so friendly and fun. And we're just having such a wonderful time just getting to know other people in the lifestyle and then experiencing France with these amazing people. And it, it is definitely a mixed group of people. We have we have people, of course, from the United States and Canada and uh, England and Australia. And of course, we're meeting all these people in France. So uh, it's 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 pretty pretty phenomenal that there's such a group, a diverse group of, of lifestyle folks, every different age group mm -hmm. uh, that comes in here that says, hey, I want to hang out with lifestyle folk and just go and see this, this country. country. And of course, SOP Lifestyle Productions, who put this event on, they're absolute experts at doing travel. Just travel in general, but focusing specific on swingers and right. what they like to see, what they want to do. But in addition to the swinger stuff, actually saying, hey, these are tourists that have never been here that actually want to do the wine tasting and do the things where you actually, unfortunately, have to put your clothes on mm -hmm. because the vanilla folk out there don't want to see that, uh, apparently. Uh, and so it does, It's it, it covers both of those things. Right, why not, if you're going to travel and see France or Greece or somewhere gorgeous, why not travel with like-minded people mm -hmm. that are going to, you know, you're going to have fun with them in the evening or the off times or just even going to a restaurant. The conversations are so much fun and yeah. it's just been such a beautiful experience, really. And not just where we're at, but just the people really have made this just a memorable, wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. And make sure you do stay tuned for part trois. Part trois. Oui. And uh, that will be in Paris. Mm. And we'll, we'll give you the rundown of what we've been doing there and uh, how the adventure and actually in Paris we're gonna be going this was like our rest stop now yes, in Paris is. that's when we're gonna see all the big lifestyle clubs all the very famous swinger clubs that are all over Paris and there's a lot of them there there's a big big lifestyle population and it's a, it's a hub as well so there, we're gonna to go to a, quite a few clubs there and see how that goes and we'll tell you all about it yes. and if you do want to join us on one of these upcoming trips oh, and you have to Seriously. Yeah, take a look at some of these different trips that are coming up and see if there's something that you wanted you want to go on because they're all gonna be fantastic. There's more trips coming up. They're they're planning a couple years out in advance now because people are, are really getting excited about these because these are very different than the cruises, they're very different than the things that you can actually do back in the States. So it's it's great that you can come with us and travel mm -hmm. the world with a couple of a couple of swingers like us yeah. and uh, and all the adventures that SOP Lifestyle Productions are putting on. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. Anything else you want to say? Au revoir. Au revoir. All right. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.